Jude, if you don't mind, if we can go back to the Toledo game for just a moment. Um, I, I, and only for a moment, can you tell me how it affects the thoughts of the seniors coming into that this last game? I mean, is that in your minds at all or no? Um, I put it behind me, me personally, um, and I think that most of the team has as well. Um, Toledo was a tough loss, you know, as a senior, being my last time playing them as a senior class. Um, it was probably one of the tougher losses we've had since I've been here. But with that said, uh, Ball State is a good team, and we can't have that hangover. Um, their record doesn't show how good they actually are on tape. They have the capability to come in here and, and, win, and win this weekend. So we have to make sure that uh, we forget about what happened last uh, Wednesday and move forward. And uh, we have to put all our efforts towards Ball State, and we need this one big time. Was it hard to put that game behind you? Um, it was difficult. Like I said, uh, it's a big game. It's, it's your rivalry, and being that we haven't we haven't beaten them in uh, uh, the past couple of years, we wanted that game, um, but it, it didn't happen. And we, you know, I really can't tell you why, and I can't tell you why we haven't beaten them. But what I do know is that we have to move forward because uh, we have a lot of things still in front of us. Uh, we have a big game this weekend against Ball State, which we have to win. And uh, that's the way everyone has to look at it. And I feel like most of the team uh, has moved on and we're ready for Ball State. When, when you say you have to win that, what, what do you mean? Because we've locked in our spot into the MAC championship game. But Friday is another opportunity for us to go out there and get better as a team. It's another opportunity to play football. It's another opportunity to make a statement. Um, I feel like, and also you have to look at the fact we haven't beaten a Mac West team this year. Every Mac West team we played this year, we've lost to. Uh, we beat everybody in the East, but we haven't beaten anybody in the West. And we need that momentum moving forward going into the Mac championship game. We need to come out there Friday. We need to play well on every phase, special teams, defense, offense, in order to click together so that we have something going when we go to Detroit on December 5th. Has it hit you yet? This will be your very last home game here? Nah, I don't think it'll hit me to the clock, go 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, it's been a pleasure, you know, playing at the door and playing, playing here. I love playing at home. I like playing on the road as well, but I really love playing at home. I like our fans. I really don't mind the fact that when it's cold, people don't really come out. I just, I embrace it all. So it hasn't hit me yet, but a lot of good memories out there, and hopefully Friday we'll be able to make some more. You think you'll get a little emotional? I hope not. I hope I don't get emotional, but I'm an emotional person, so I don't know what will happen on Friday. Is there one memory in particular that, that strikes you coming into this final home game? Um, I'd say this year against Indiana was a big one. Um, 2011 against Temple was another big one for me. Um, and then there's been there's just been countless moments, you know, here at Dork Day, but definitely those two definitely stand out as far as I can remember my career here. What was the reason? I, I'm guessing the Indiana, it's a home win over a Big Ten team and things like that. What, what were the reasons that Temple stood out for you? Um, because I think in 2011, we were kind of like a mediocre team. And Temple came in here. I think they were having a good year that year. And they had Bernard Pierce. And they had um, they were very decorated with their head coach and everything. And we were a young team, young defense, young offense. And we shut them down. And, uh, we they were what you call an upset, but, you know, we, we shut them down, and I, th I thought that was a big win for us. Obviously, every win is important, or you want to win. I guess coming off the loss, how important is it for you guys to come out, and especially for the seniors, you know, one last regular season game to, to go out on top? Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's definitely important, and Coach has been stressing it all week. He stressed it right after the Toledo game that it's important that we know we send the seniors out the right way. This is our last home game at uh, Dwight Perry, and we want to go out as winners, regardless of whether we play the next week or a bowl game or whatever. It's important for us to win at home. Uh, we went at home for the most part this year, and we want to keep it going with that home field advantage that we do create here at home. So it's important for us to win, but as well as we want to put, we want to put out a good product every time we go out. Every time we go out to play, we want people to know what Bowling Green football is all about. So that's the that's biggest reason why it's 
Friday. Which Friday is great. We were talking about bowl games before you got in here and where you guys would go and what bowl games you're eligible for. Have you and the boys talked about where you'd want to go? Maybe the Bahamas? Yeah, I mean, we talk about it, joking around and stuff, but I mean, anywhere we get to go is, is a blessing. I mean, there's only a few teams that get an opportunity to go to a bowl game, and uh, I've been fortunate here that this year will be hopefully the third year in a row that I've been to a bowl game. So wherever we get an opportunity to go is fine with us, but we, we, we talk about it a little bit. Is there part of you that always wants to play kind of a, last year you guys got pit, um, play a really good team, you know, from a big time conference? Is there a part of you that rather play a team like that? Um, we'll play we'll play anybody. You know, um, last year the pit experience up in Detroit was, was nice. Um, it was an opportunity to play at BCS school and national T V and all of that, but it doesn't matter who we play in my opinion, um, because football, you know, whoever shows up to play, we wanna play and then we wanna compete and we wanna win. Having not beat a team on the West yet, um, do you think about that at all? I mean, as a team, do you guys talk about, you know, we haven't beat a team on the West since NIU last year? I mean, I, I really, it really didn't, it really didn't flash my mind until I just said it earlier about it, but when you really think about it, yeah, we haven't, but it's not, it's not something that is too, like, it's bothering us too much. I feel like we want to beat everybody that is on our schedule, regardless if it's a team in the East or a team in the West. So, but the fact that we have to beat a team in the West does make Friday pretty important because in the match championship, we will end up playing a team from the West again. So it does make uh, Friday important. You want to see, uh, you root for a Western Michigan win on Friday so you can see UT in the match championship game? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just play whoever shows up in Detroit uh, the seventh day. So no desire to play UT again and, and whoop them on the MAC championship stage? We'll play whoever shows up in uh, the seventh day in Detroit. Good. Good.